Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And um, before we get started, uh, I thought I'd just comment that this is probably the first time in a long time I have filmed when it's still light outside. So I've still got my little light here because if I turn it off, it's quite dark. But it is still light outside, so I've moved it over a wee bit. Let me see if I can just don't get it too much. But it's nice to see some natural light coming through. Um, so yes, um, like I said in uh, my last video, I was talking all about uh, what's going on at the minute. I am not going to talk about that tonight at all. I think we've all had enough. And let's just get cracking with... Um, uh, normal content uh, because this is becoming the new normal and I think we've all had enough of it really. So let's get cracking uh, with uh, tonight's video which is um, just a review, an initial review because I've only used it for the last two days um, and a what's in my bag of this little beauty that I showed in um, I think was it about three or four videos ago. I bought this, um, if you haven't seen that video um, I will link it below. Um, this was bought in just a little handbag store in Belfast city centre and I think it was literally maybe a week before the lockdown or two weeks and I bought it specifically for summer and we have been having the best weather. I don't know if it's the environmental impact of what's going on that there's um, not as many um, uh, planes, trains and automobiles <laughs> as the film, uh, the film title says. But um, yeah, something's been happening to the environment. It's a lot, I, I, I just, I can't believe it's been like the fifth day in a row of nothing but sunshine. And in Northern Ireland, if you live in Northern Ireland or you live in the UK, you know that is like, it, it just, it does not happen. It is like April, April of last year, you know the saying April showers? We had April and May and June showers. It never stopped raining. So it's nice to see a little bit of sun because it does help during this time. But I finally got to use uh, this beauty um, that I really did not think I was going to get to use until like July. So um, here she is. This is kind of, it's an inspired by Chanel Chevron. Um, it's kind of like in the boys style, but it's also like a flap. Um, but it's it's just an inspired by design. It's absolutely nothing, you know, like trying to be Chanel or anything like that. But I loved it. I told you guys in that video that it had silver hardware. It does have this little um, uh, imitation leather uh, strap. So this kind of reminds me of the boy because the boy bag from Chanel does have this uh, little leather bit. And then um, the boy bag, you'd have the little thing there to open. Um, I'd say this is more of a boy style than the classic flop. It's definitely the more boxy style. So let's go with the, the Chanel Boy inspired by bag. So it um, just opens with a magnetic closure there. And I've been using it for the last two days and I love it, love it. It fits everything. Now this is a bit of a hot mess I'm going to show you right now, but there's a method to it. One, I kind of threw everything into my bag before I started this video, so it'd be a lot neater than this, but just to show you how much it actually holds. So there we go. Sorry, yes, it is a little bit messy, but just to show you how much room there is. So I did say in the last video that it does come with like this little zip up compartment, which is greatly appreciated, but um, that would be too fidgety for me personally to get in and out of the bag so I just tuck that into the side and just leave it open and um, actually left it out on the first day and didn't even realize because when you close it over you can't really see so um, yeah it's uh, very very good for security but um, it's got a huge flap on front on the top of it so I don't particularly think it's um, it's needed, but there you go. It's there anyway, should you be very, very security conscious. So here we go. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the details of the bag. You've seen it in the last video. Like I said, I will link the details of that video down below, but I will quickly go through um, what I have in here. So uh, there are two slip pockets, which I didn't think I'd use. I actually forgot they were there when I was first packing it. So I've got things in here as well. So I'm using everything and a little zip pocket in the back which I'm also using. So let's do the main compartment first, shall we? Um, I have finally uh, moved out of my um, Kath Kitson uh, coin purse. 
I love that wallet and it is so good for compact bags but this is a bigger bag so I thought right let's get moving into another bag or another purse um so this is the Michael Kors Jet Set envelope uh wallet that I bought uh, my very first video on YouTube so it holds a very special place in my heart um and uh, I bought this because I never thought I'd actually get the Louis Vuitton Victorine which I did end up getting um that baby I I've used it only twice. I was going to say once, but I think I used it twice. Um, I'm just being so careful with it because of the button. And once I, I, I don't want to use it in a bag like this where it's going to get thrown around. I want to kind of use a, a wallet where I feel more comfortable. Um, I would probably use that in like a speedy or a tote bag where I have an organizer, but I just haven't reached for a tote bag in so long. It's always been crossbodies and crossbodies you just throw everything in. So it will get used again, I promise, and um I will get more relaxed using it um as time goes on. But you know what I'm like, I don't really splurge uh on big designer items, so that was quite a big splurge for me. Uh but um it will get used, but I just want to make sure that it's protected and you know it doesn't wear um faster than it should for the amount of money that that wallet was so this is a great little substitute wallet uh, i've got a review on this a reveal on this my very first video if you do watch it please forgive me because i am very melancholy and serious throughout it <laughs> I hadn't really relaxed with my YouTube family yet. It was my very first video, so I do I did get more lighthearted as time went on. So there's that one. Uh, my uh, Louis Vuitton um, is a clay. Um, bought from AliExpress years and years ago, and I have my uh, car key on this and the lock or the lock the key for um, the steering wheel lock on here. Uh, I don't know, guys, if this is, um, uh, well, the real one is gold-plated as well, I've heard, but this gets thrown around a lot, so there's a lot of wear there, so I don't know if the real thing would be it, but if it's gold-plated, that's inevitably going to happen if you have keys on it constantly, so, but it's still, apart from that, it's holding up great, I mean, this was only about 20, 30 pounds, there's some wear on the, on the zipper pull there, just on that little, uh, hook there. But love it. So good for the car key because it's so much bigger than um, uh, the key. Or it would be too big to hold in my six ring key holder, which is coming up next if I have it. Did I forget to throw in my key holder? I think I did. Guys, I'm going to pause it for just one second. I'm going to go down and get my key holder. I thought I had piled everything into my bag, but I obviously missed something out. One second, I'll go and get it. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I did leave it downstairs. So this is my Louis Vuitton replica. Um, six ring key holder from iOffer that I bought three or four years ago, way back in the iOffer days. Um, of course, that, that is no longer an option. I offer, uh, as I've said in a few videos uh, in the past, they were having really bad problems uh, at checkout. And then they just seem to remove all replica items so obviously they got found out or whatever but this was what i'm not going to get into all that but this was one of the purchases i made in the i offer days it does have the pink button but this pink button as you can see uh it wore very very quickly uh so i have had to repeatedly put uh light pink acrylic paint over it and then put like nail varnish remover over trying to protect it but as you can see it still does let me see if i can get this light round it still does there's a wee black mark there doesn't matter how hard i try with this button um because it gets used every single day it does uh wear uh, that's why i am a bit worried about my real uh louis, or louis vuitton victorine wallet with the rose ballerine button because people on youtube who have the real version of this and the real version of the Victorine always complain about the button. I never thought at the time when you're in the store and you say yes because you've seen it and it's beautiful and yes I'll get it. Um, a, a kind of practicality in your head just goes out the window. <laughs> you're not even thinking about it. You're like oh my god I'm buying Louis Vuitton. You're really excited. 
Um, so yeah, I didn't think of the practicality of it. Um, so that's why I am going to be very careful with that wallet for as long as I can, because I definitely don't with the real wallet want to have to put acrylic paint and nail varnish on it. I didn't mind with this one because it only costs about 40 pounds. Um, but with the wallet, yeah definitely want to be careful with it so that's why i'm being very very careful with the real thing so uh there we go but it's it is so brilliant i just love it it holds all my keys uh i think the inside is actually made quite well it has the rose ballerine interior uh and it has the hot stamp there i'm gonna get the light on here it's not really working we have a tom paris made in france very hard to see against the textured i don't even know if it is leather well, it smells like leather actually to be fair i offer was good i miss i offer they did have some good stuff but there you go yeah and then all my keys there a loyalty and then keys so you've seen them before but it's uh doesn't even it doesn't even have to be Louis Vuitton. Any key holder is a godsend when you're a handbag addict like me. Um, sorry, this light. Are you on or right? Okay, because it's weird. The sun's going down, but I know you'll lose light anyway. Right. Let me see what else have we got. Uh, my work pass. I've been in work the last couple of days. Just a few afternoons, just to make sure that the. Uh, cogs of the machine are still being oiled in my absence <laughs> um funny enough guys in my past video when i was talking about um not being able to get rid of the big chanel huge glasses case because it was chanel and lamenting the loss of the uh, cloth um wipe cleaner thing uh, and then I also said I lost this. I didn't lose this. This I put away last summer that came with the sunglasses or the glasses case. Uh, it's got my Primark sunglasses. I think I spent a whopping five pounds on these. I love these. It was so sunny the other day when I was driving to work that I needed my sunglasses. And it is that kind of time of the year where you go, where did I put my sunglasses last year? And you have to search uh, drawers and closets and everything trying to find them and I found them and I couldn't believe that all the time I thought I'd lost this I actually was using these for my sunglasses so I'm so glad that in the end I didn't lose this because it's great for my sunglasses so I've been using those um my mp3 player yes I'm old school uh hand sanitizer very important in these times uh cream for my hands for little uh itchy um i get uh sometimes a little breakout in between my fingers like eczema so uh probably too much information there but i am showing you everything uh the most wonderful lip balm in the world i ranted and raved for it this is way too late now uh ranted and raved for years about carmex this is just as good as carmex and i love that it comes in such a uh, smaller uh, packaging than Garmex and it's brilliant for my compact handbags but also you don't get your fingers um, you having to put it in the pot you can just put it on like lipstick I just love Burt's Bees and it's so soothing and cool I love it so uh, my staple I'm wearing it today my NYX lingerie what color is this in um, honeymoon and the matching lip liner that I was honestly there was an, I bought two or three brown lip liners trying to match that and I could not find it and then I googled what shade matched that lipstick and finally found the NYX uh, lip liner and it's in toast so toast and honeymoon go together and I got this from eBay for about seven pounds and brilliant they match perfectly so finally I found the right uh, lip liner for that shade so that's the middle compartment empty uh, in one of the slip pockets I have my uh, juice for my e-cigarette I know I'm bad I smoke an e-cigarette and then my trusty Fendi replica AliExpress 
five pound purchase from years ago still going strong holding all my loyalty cards and it fits perfectly into the other side pocket and in the back side pocket let's just finish off here I have some paracetamol very uh, uh, valuable in this time um, it's always good to have painkillers if you need it uh, I have a glasses cleaning wipe, not the Chanel one, unfortunately. Lost in Dublin, I think it was. I lost it in January, I think. Uh, because I do wear glasses, I just take them off for my videos. Gum, essential. After I eat lunch in work, I need to have gum. Uh, my little trusty compact mirror, so battered and bruised, probably about over 10 years old. It, it actually came with a Paris Hilton... Uh, perfume set do you remember her perfume called just me i think it was her second fragrance that's how old this mirror is guys because it used to have just me by paris hilton imprinted on this but it's great it's so thin and uh, it can just fit into any handbag and it's pink and it's a heart i don't care how old it is and lastly a nail file because i always check my nails and it drives me crazy when i can't file them down so there we go guys completely empty now but as you can see it's a huge big great generous space these slip pockets i totally forgot about and they're even when i had them i was like oh it makes it even handier because things you would you know grab i can now put them oh put them somewhere um uh to make them more organized uh, no pocket on the front or in the back or on the back outside but honestly you do not need it so like I said in the video where I did reveal this um, it is a little independent handbag store um, I don't know about the rest of the UK but in Northern Ireland it, there would be stores like GD1 um, that was the one I bought mine in uh, there's one another one and it's called First Class um, Vogue as well these are the type of like independent wee boutique stores that do you'll find like they do like celebrity or celebrity why do I always say celebrity designer inspired bags and I just love this little beauty the light is not doing it justice uh, it I did struggle so hard when I revealed this try I took it into about three different rooms in my house trying to get a true picture of what this little beauty looks like um in the flesh and i tried my best i think i took it in the kitchen in the end because the lighting was the best there but it's so hard to capture and um in this light um even during the day it's still hard to capture but these lovely little like kind of mother of pearl iridescent um studs here just absolutely gorgeous with this color i did say in the video that there was this exact same style but with different colors there was black there was blue there was gray there was a deep pink but because the mother pearl always has a kind of like pinky uh tone this lilac uh like lavender um color just looks so beautiful with this and there weren't many people in work over the last couple of days but the two people the two or three people i did see um just commented because it was sitting on my desk how beautiful it was so um i just love it absolutely love it if uh, i think if i put on quickly crossbody i can push this chair back uh perfect for my height there we go right on the hip perfect for crossbody absolutely perfect uh, so yes if you're five foot two and you get these kind of bags that don't have like uh, if it's not adjustable if you're short like me you'll usually be uh, pleased because it'll always fit your crossbody uh, but I also realized you can double it up like the Chanel boy and just have it on your shoulder and I honestly was wearing it every way over the last two days crossbody on my shoulder doubled up you know coming in and out of the car and going in and, uh, in and out of the office so i absolutely love it and i didn't think for a moment i would be able to use it in april that's crazy i wasn't expecting to get this out until june at the very very earliest so i'm very very impressed it fits the world um it fits and there's still room for more so there you go uh and my phone is also in there and there's still room for more after um i put my phone in here so absolutely loving this bag um and wearing a kind of 
uh, trying to be matchy matchy today with my uh, Gucci replica t-shirt that was bought in Dublin last year at some point. Um, obviously not the real thing. I think it was about 15 euro. Um, so, uh, but I just saw it in a shop window and I thought, you know, never going to be here again. Just buy it. <laughs> so, um, okay guys, well, that's it for tonight. So nice to talk to you when the sun is still out. It is just setting here. We have a lovely sunset. I can see it in the distance. Let me see if I can show you. You can see it through my window there. So, guys, really hope you're doing well and everyone's keeping well and seeing. Um, uh, I did say uh, in my last video, uh, please do uh, drop me a comment um, if you would like uh, to see anything in particular again, um, or if you'd like to uh, have a review of wear and tear or my opinions on anything. I'm not, you know, obviously I'm not you know, able to buy the world, but I still love to check into new um, uh, lines that are released. I just saw the, I think it was about a week ago, I saw the Louis Vuitton new collection, I think it's called Scal, uh, like the tie-dye pastel. Nice, but it's, you know, it's for spring, summer, you know, it's beachy vibes. It's nice to look at, but I wouldn't invest in it personally, but um, I do love talking about um, all the new lines. Um, I do keep up to date, even though uh, my purse won't stretch to <laughs> acquiring them, but uh, do drop me a line. Um, let me know what you'd like to see next, if there's anything particular you'd like to see, or if you just like to talk and, um, you know, if you're struggling right now, um, please do drop me a comment. I love talking to you guys. And, um, you know, we can talk to me about anything and I, I promise I'll get back to you. So, guys, I hope you're doing well. I hope your loved ones are doing well. Um, stay safe. Um, hope, uh, stay well. And, uh, you know, do do try and uh, maintain contact throughout this time um, because it is important. Um, I, in about an hour, I'm FaceTiming my best friend and we make this a... a weekly date that every Friday at nine we watch Gogglebox together which we never end up watching because we end up talking the whole way through it and we're usually on the phone FaceTime for about two hours but it is I literally look forward to it every Friday so try and do something like that with a friend um or if you're apart with your you know from your um your significant other or your mom or anything or your dad or anyone um it really does make a difference and uh, you can look forward to it um and i just hope you guys all have someone to talk to and if you don't please do drop me a line because i am here and i would love to speak to you so guys take care of yourselves hope you enjoyed this video like i said drop me any comments suggestions on the next one and uh, stay safe and uh, take care of each other lots of love Mwah. bye guys